Now Roxy's gonna have some of her food. Yes, she is. Oh, look how cute you are. More cuttings. Come on. Oh, it's okay. Come on over. Yeah. There you are. There's Roxy. She loves her paddocks. Oh, yes, she does. Yes, you do. Yes, you do love your paddocks. Very good girl. Little girl, too. Look. Look how little she is next to my hand. Come on up here. Here she is. You should put your head right on the telephone. Yeah, now it's all dark in here, too. There, that's a good thing. Now everyone can see how much she likes her paddocks. That's right. What a good girl you are. Headbutting the phone and just being so friendly in general. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Very, very affectionate young lady. But Roxy takes a while to get to know you. And that's what everybody needs to know. This cat cannot be just let loose in your house because she'll run and find a hiding place and then she'll stay in there, won't you? Yeah, then you'll stay in there. Yeah, she'll stay right and hide. She's a really sweet girl, though. When she first came, if I walked into the room, and I did have her in a cage in the foster room, and she would, like, hiss, you know, she just hiss, just kind of as a warning. Wouldn't she? She'd just be a hissy girl. But now she's totally friendly. You're totally friendly. Here, eat some of this. I have some crunchies. Crunchies are good. Yeah. It's it's hard for me to film because she keeps headbutting me. Aren't you a headbutter? Yeah. She says more and more. And also, what I did with when I first come on down, Curly. Come on down. So you can see she loves other cats, adores them. Really, really, really adores them. It's okay, baby. Come on down. Come on. She, like, just constantly, you know, just to, to the point where, um, you know, Curly, my other cat's just like, okay, I've had enough. And she, she'll, like, walk right next to him like, like a kitten to a mom cat. So it's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of funny. And she is uh, definitely submissive. She's not at all, um, you know, antagonistic, other than just wanting to be with other cats all the time. You can kind of get an idea of her size, too, next to him. She's very, uh, very petite, aren't you? You're a small cat. She's like, yeah, I'm going to go bother Curly some more. So that's that's what's going on. There he is, and there she is right behind him. Come on, baby. Come on over. There's my girl. She's a little weary of the camera. She's like, what am I doing with this, with this phone? I'm like, right in her face, I'm not talking baby talk. To baby. Look at my baby. Come on up here. You can get more cuttings. Okay, well, anyhow, here, this is Roxy, once again with Curly. She's, um, she's about one or two years old. She had a litter of kittens. She has, uh, she has feline AIDS, but obviously she's in very good health. Um, and she does take longer to, um, you know, to get acquainted. So she, I recommend uh, that she should be, you know, d like confined in a small room, like where somebody lives a lot, like maybe the bedroom, um, for at least until, you know, she's, she wants to be petted and rubbed and everything the way I am right now. Because if, if you don't do that with her up front, she would just live in your house and her natural instinct is to be... Um, you know, t more timid, where obviously you can see she's not a timid cat once she trusts you. She's a real sweetheart. Very, 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 very affectionate, and as I said, adores other cats. Don't you? It's okay. You can go and eat your food. There she is. 
Good girl. Happy, pretty girl. Very, very, very pretty cat. Very, very, very sociable. Um, as I said, after she gets to know you. That's our little Roxy. Loves to play. Loves to, like, interact with other cats. And uh, very, very good girl. Okay, Roxy, that's enough. Eat your food. Bye now. Say bye to everyone.